insulation, you know, and, you, and, and get it all set up. The next thing you would do on this step is come in here and, and look to see, you know, make sure everything else down in the coin door is ready. Um, make sure your, your board's set up and ready, which from here it's almost always set up and ready for you. But in traveling the distance it does on a standard LTL truck, on a pallet, it's bouncing, it's getting thrown around by forklifts. Things change, values change of potentiometers on like your, your sensor and you know your volume control and your claw strength setup. So you, you always have to go back in and make adjustments to those things. Um, first thing I would do is come in and open your door for your board. Your main board, your main board is on the 31 inch is on the front, right hand side below, you know, to, next to your control panel. And on a 27 inch or a 24 inch, they're on the right hand side of the cabinet below the glass. Um, so let's let's say this is this is a 31. So we come in here. You always get your board. This is your board section. You slide out the drawer. Um, you've got your board. This is your power inlet box. This is where all the power comes in. Comes from the back wall to the front switch and back down here, and goes out to your power supply, up to your lights, and uh, then you've got your power supply which is right there. Um, all your connectors for all of it's right here. Little small board back here is for your your lights that run down the two down the corners, the LED lights. Um, once you've got here and everything looks okay, make sure all your connections are in and good. That should be all. The, the next step, make sure your yellow box, all the, the three connectors or four connectors are plugged in all the way. Make sure your power supply is plugged in good. You know, so there's nothing loose. Then check this plug right here. This plug is a, is a computer style plug in. It's got two screws in it. Sometimes in shipping, those screws back out. They're just small screws, so they, they come out pretty easily. Once they back out, they you end up, you know, it could be half off or half on. Make sure those are there and good before you go through and, you know, turn the machine on. So now we've got the board ready. <coughs> Make sure everything's, you know, connected good. <coughs> you come up to the, the front door. In the front door, you got two coin mechs, or some of them come with a bill acceptor and one coin mech. Um, you've got your meters over here on the left-hand side. That tells you how many coins are in, number one. Number two is how many bills were accepted. And number three is the prizes that went out. You make sure you know all your connections are good on here. Um, make sure your grounds are, are connected to the bolts on here. Then to the right-hand side in the door here, you've got your, your speaker. And your voltage meter that tells you what the strength is, the claw strength is. The VR1, VR2, and VR3 are your three stages of your claws. That's where we're getting ready to set up right now. So, you know, if you're having a claw problem or on initial setup when you first come in, there's you, you have to make your adjustments and make sure they're set right. So the first step of that would be on the back of the coin mech, as you can see, right here above the plug there is a small black switch right there that you slide up you slide that switch up if the machines on you turn the machine off and back on again if the machines off just slide the switch up on one coin mech you don't have to do both and turn the machine on it automatically come on you'll have double zeros flashing on the display panel once you get the double zeros you're ready to go so you're in a call test mode right now you would hit your drop button one time that's 01 that's your first voltage, what we call the drop voltage. As it goes out, claw goes out and goes down to the bottom, and that's when it grabs. That's VR1 on the display, and VR1 is the adjustment. On a plush crane or a ball crane, I generally start that at 30. On a candy crane or a winter every time crane, you would go up to 40 or 45. So you just take your first VR1 and move as you can see. That's going up or down. Um, so we're doing a plush crane now. After so much time, don't be alarmed. After 10 or 15 seconds, the board automatically shuts off so they don't burn up your claw coil, you know, and you forget to leave it on and burn something up or burn up a relay or something like that. So if it, if it shuts off on you, it's because you didn't do it fast enough. Just hit the button again, it goes back to 01. Once you get to 01, the second stage is 02. Hit the drop button again, it goes to 02. That's VR2 on, these, on the potentiometers inside the door. Um, some of the machines have, just I will say this, some of the machines have potentiometers here on this bracket. Some of them have them on the main board, the original version machines. 
Some of them have it on is a little small board, about three by two, that's mounted somewhere inside this door that is the same as this. It's just not with a meter. The meter would be separated from that little small board. They all three do the same thing though. So with that being said, as you go back to O2, at O2 on a, on a plush crane, I usually set it on 20. On a ball crane, I set it on 30. On a candy crane, I set it on 40, 45, or, or one or every time crane. Once you've got that set, that voltage is the second voltage. So when it goes down and grabs, that's one. Three-fourths of the way up to the top, it goes to number two. It hits the top, closes the switches, and starts home. That goes to number three. So you hit your drop button again. You're at O3. You take your VR3 and adjust it up or down. On, on a non-winner every time crane, a plush ball, I usually do about 10 or 11. On a candy crane, it doesn't matter. Don't use the third voltage anyways. Now, with that being said, all of these are changes very easily changeable because this meter is not perfectly calibrated. You know, it's, it's not an extremely calibrated meter, so it could be 12 volts and sitting on 10. It could be 15 sitting on 10. It could be 8 sitting on 10. Um, you know, if you have any major problems, you need to go back on the back side of the two points on the back of it and test it with a meter and see what the voltage is. Or you can go up top where I'm going to show you here later at the claw and see what the voltage is. That's how you set it up. Once you've got this set and ready, everything's good to go. Then all you do is turn and take the little black switch and slide it to the down position. That turns it off. As you look up, the display goes from nines. Does its countdown nine eight seven six five four three two one zero? It resets itself and it's ready to go. That's all on claw strength adjustments.